so let me just uh, give a few words of introduction about uh, the policy seminar, which um, basically fits uh, very, uh, not, not uh, surprisingly, um, in sandwich of two large uh, events, if you want. We had in, in February the New Delhi conference, um, the 2020 conference on leveraging agriculture for health and nutrition, which if pre-organized and which was really focusing on how to establish the connections between agriculture, health and nutrition, how to make agriculture more pro-nutrition and pro-health. But we didn't cover the issues of non-communicable diseases very much there. Um, this was not an oversight. This is uh, not an area that uh, IFPRI is focusing on very much. This is not a topic that you hear a lot about here in, in policy seminars. So um, we thought now is the time to bring this the same topic of agriculture for health, but in the concept, context of non-communicable diseases. Um, this is not a, you work either on non-communicable diseases or you work on undernutrition. It's a continuum. It's, it's a lot of the same issues that we need to address. Uh, but uh, very often the people, the, the stakeholders that, that work on those, on those issues are, are sometimes different. Um, but now we have the, um, the upcoming UN summit on, on NCDs that will be held in New York in, um, at the end of, of September. So we thought we would highlight the issues. Um, am I too close? It's, I think it's, oh, okay. Somebody's breathing. Oh, okay, well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <that's, laughs> okay. Um, so we cut the breathing, it looks like. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the, the, for those of you who are not familiar with the uh, NCDs, um, th this is really now, this has become a global threat. It's an enormous challenge to developments like Dr. Margaret Chan. Uh, the director of, of WHO puts it, NCDs constitute a two-punch blow to development. They cause billions of dollars in losses of national income, and, um, and they, they cause a lot of losses. Uh, they push millions of people, sorry, below the poverty line every year. So NCDs are responsible for 63% of all debts, that is 36 million debts. 80% of those debts are in low and middle income countries, contrary to uh, what w the myth or what we've always assumed, NCDs are not just in developed world. They're not a burden of only the developed world. And the project projections are that um, the increases in NCDs in, in the future will come largely and mostly from the developing world. We're talking here about four broad categories of diseases. Cardiovascular diseases, some types of cancers, uh, diabetes, and chronic respiratory diseases. Those uh, in, in developing countries, an important aspect of developing countries, low and, and middle income countries, is that not only are they becoming incredibly, incredibly prevalent, but they also happen at an earlier age, thereby affecting even more the labor force, people in their prime, prime age adults, uh, who are the main income generator are now being affected at earlier ages by these diseases. These diseases are largely preventable by modifying four common risk factors, the tobacco use, reducing tobacco use, addressing lack of physical activity, addressing the harmful use of alcohol, whatever that means in terms of quantities, and uh, unhealthy diets. Uh, obviously, when, when we are talking about agriculture, which is really the, the topic of, of today, how can agriculture help prevent and, and, and contribute more to reducing, controlling NCDs? We are referring mostly to how to have better diets at a more affordable cost. So we've, we've seen that there are lots of discussions with the UN summit and with lots of declarations and, and um, and discussions ongoing, but agriculture is surprisingly absent from those discussions. So one of the reasons for holding the seminar and bringing in the panel of, of experts that, that we have today is to discuss specifically that. What can we do to make sure that agriculture makes it to the agenda of the UN summit and to the recommendations for actions in the future? So um, I will introduce uh, Professor Tim Lang first. 
And uh, then Rachel Nugent will, uh, will come here and speak, and we will have uh, Dr. Derek Yak uh, as a third panelist. Professor Lang is uh, professor of food policy at City University in the UK. He has a, a very distinguished career and long biography. It's, it, it's hard to know where to stop, but uh, I wanna just mention a few things. Um, so he's currently professor of food policy at City University and before joining in 2002, he was director of the Center for Food Policy at Thames Valley University. Prior to that, he was director of Parents for Safe Food and before that, director of the London Food Commission. Dr. Lang plays a very important role in discussions, uh, in, in policy discussions. In 2006, he was appointed Natural Resource and Land Use Commissioner on the UK Government Sustainable Development Commission. He is a regular advisor, consultant to the World Health Organization, the European Commission, and FAO. He's author of more than 120 publications, including eight books, many of which you probably know, The Food Wars and The Atlas of Food. So, Professor Lang, we will um, give you about 15 minutes. Uh, I think there's something that needs to be done, but uh, we're ready to go. Thank you.